Welcome to a new blog. This is Momita. As I mentioned in my previous blog, we would stay in Singapore during Durga Puja this year. So we were all set to celebrate the puja as much as we could away from home. It was the evening of Mahashaptami, the seventh day of Navratri, and the Ram Krishna Mission was the best place to be on this auspicious day. The Ram Krishna Mission Singapore. is in Bartley we needed to change several trains from our place to reach there though but this was a very small and an easy effort on our part compared to the craziness my hometown agartala the capital of tripura witnessed amongst the devotees when it came to pandal hopping during durga puja the bengalis in singapore also celebrate the puja with a fair share of pandals and we hope to visit a few on ashtomi we reached bartley at 7:35 pm at first i thought that we were the only ones inside the mission The place felt so quiet but as we walked towards the main building I was glad to see the fairy lights adorning the premises A few more devotees were there too making me finally feel some festive vibe As I climbed the stairs and stepped inside the prayer hall, the ambience made me forget that I was away from home during this festive season. The devotional song sung by the priests and the devotees could make you sit quietly in one place for hours. 2018 was the last time I visited Ram Krishna Mission during Durga Puja. Of course, we came here later too. but pujo always made our visit to the mission extra special <laughs> Speaking of extra special, a pani puri stall was a part of the festive fundraising initiative, and I didn't miss the opportunity to devour some spicy and tangy pani puris. Mini also tasted pani puris for the first time and gave mixed reactions to this mouth-watering snack. But then it was the prasad distribution time. The dining hall had good seating arrangements with separate space reserved for senior citizens. The prasad plates had fruits, samosas, fried rice, mixed sabji, laddus and paish. In short, the plate had enough prasad for a fulfilling dinner, making our Maha Shaptami night a memorable one. Oh, by the way, Maha Ashtami or the 8th day of Navratri had already begun and we were waiting for the next morning and visit some puja pandals. The next morning looked promising for a nice weather, but it started raining in the afternoon. However, the rain had little impact on our plans for Maha Ashtami. I should say Maha Navomi instead of Ashtami, as the timings of the auspicious days overlapped with each other. <laughs> 
Tanjong Katong was our destination where Sipa or the Singapore Indian Puja Association arranged Durga Pujo and had a bunch of cultural programs in their celebration schedule. Although the program would start at 6 p.m., we were hopeful to have a glimpse of Ma Durga's idol even if we didn't stay back for the events in the evening. As expected, the puja premise was empty and the evening programs would start only an hour later. But we were there to adore and pray before Ma Durga and that we could do in peace. Later, bus number 48 took us to Ferrar Park where the Bengali Association Singapore celebrated Durga Pujo every year. Thank God it's not raining on this side of Singapore. When we reached Ferrar Park, the time was 5 pm and we wanted to visit the Pujo Pandal a little later so that we could enjoy the programs after they started. Relishing some masala dosa with tea and filter coffee in Komala Villas looked like the best way to kill some time. But before going to the Bengali Association Singapore, we came across the Pujo Pandal of the Bangla Universal Society Singapore. And finally, the wait was over. We were now inside the Pujo Pandal of the Bengali Association Singapore. The entry fee for the families was 30 Singapore dollars and they gave a yellow tag for each one of us. The pandal was gradually getting crowded. Madurga's idol looked gorgeous and before it became difficult to click any pictures amidst the devotees, we quickly posed for our mobile cameras. They had cultural programs planned for the evening and we eagerly waited for them to start. But what is a celebration without food? The pandal had various food stalls and from samosas, biryani to sweets, everything was available there. One needed to pay for them separately of course. And then the program commenced with a couple of Bengali folk dances while the fashion show added more glamour to the evening.
away in the blink of an eye. Festivals away from home and loved ones always look blunt. But the last two days had been a wonderful distraction from our daily lives and Eva Ball made us forget for some time that we were not spending this Durga Pujo with our parents and relatives back in India this year. How do you celebrate festive seasons away from home? Let me know. And if you have enjoyed this Durga Puja special blog, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Till then take care and I will meet you in the next blog soon.